Oh, what was a couple of things. We need to know about Zog. Is that the big thing right now? Yes, yes, that was one thing. We was to that was partly why I was thinking about getting access to the um the library was to research Zog. I know we can go get information on Zog. Okay, where's that? We go to the future world where he was imprisoned. I'm sure they have a file on him there. Okay. So we go down to the sewers, and that leads us to where the robot is. And through there is where we get to where Zog was imprisoned in the cryo chamber. Uh, did you put the stairs in? Stairs? Yes, somebody's put stairs and a handrail in, leading to the chamber where the robot is. Whereas no. previously in red carpet, you couldn't get there. Mm-hmm. Um, you can now via stairs. Oh, well. Well, let's go through it a little bit at a time, shall we? Yes. You guys and are... I was just, and bef before you go, I was going to say, mm -hmm. and because there's a note, the, door, the place is boarded up currently, we would need to break in. Um, the police may have it under observation. They may not from other people breaking into it, including myself and Rock. <laughs> <coughs> and or, depending on if it's night or day, Batman may have people watching the place as well. They so will need to be careful. Okay. So just a couple of things to consider. So if we're going to do that, we'll better grab some torches, etc. Figure out what you would like on you for this perilous journey into the depths of the sewers. You've got miscellaneous shit here in your home. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, oh, also there is yes. a, a one, no, two-week-old newspaper laying around. Anything exciting in the news? Well, aside from uh, uh, the city councilman spontaneously and apparently totally independent of the current mayor coming up with the idea to put a new ballot forward to rename the town from San Angeles to Gotham. <laughs> so, you know, apparently that's now going to be a thing. And uh, the mayor is surprised he expresses surprise i'm very surprised and um yeah the um uh the people though are in in the town they are happy to have traded away their any possible freedoms for security and whatnot uh, because their crime rate is the lowest ever um it's well known that any criminals uh, end up missing their blood, with the exception, of course, of the Riddler. And you see a fucking picture of Glenn. Yep, yep, I'm afraid so. In the newspaper, and it says, Have you seen this man? Call the mayor's office if you have. As long as it's not a picture of me calling me the Joker. Not yet. Mm hmm. Yet. Thank you, Mildred. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, oh, also, uh, since you're back in the zone and whatnot, you do get messages and whatnot in your phones. Um, and Doc Fulton, you do get a message. Uh, it's from the studio telling you that the police are actively, uh, they have a warrant out for somebody named Joshua McKay. He's wanted in uh, for questioning as well as investigations into continued spousal abuse. I let him know. <laughs> and if you see him, please, you know, let the studio know. They'll let the police know so you don't have to get your incredibly manicured fingers involved in that. Got it. McKay looks thrilled by this. Apparently, uh, 
It shows it shows like uh, the flash of McKay beating up uh, the woman with no name. Stop saying I abuse you. <laughs> So, or it shows her abusing him, going, stop abusing me. And he's like, ah, Jesus. Um, so, yeah. Welcome to Anytime, Anywhere, the only show where spousal abuse is mocked. Pete, decrease your hand by one. You said smart shit at some point earlier. So, you guys have written down which specific gear you're going to take deep, deep nope. into the bowels of the earth? Not quite yet. Come ah. on, discuss it with Doc. <coughs> I will go to the restroom while you discuss your gear. You can okay. let me know. So, I'm a the. I'm just trying to work out whether or not to take guns or not. On one hand, if if the police are there and I've got guns, things could go from go very badly. But the other hand, if there's vampires waiting there for us, guns would be useful. Do you intend to take any firearms or not worry about it? <clears throat> well, I always bring my Buck Rogers gun with me because no one actually thinks it's an actual yes. gun. Yep, yep, so... Yep. I've got my knife on me, hidden away. And you may you may need uh, you're not bad at lock picking, so you potentially bringing some lock picks might be useful depending on how we get into the place. We don't need scuba gear anymore, right? We don't need that to get nah, nah. to where we're going. Nah. Nah, nah. Man. Oh crap! I didn't write it down. How much gold did you give me? Uh, one thousand and thirty-five grams. So depending on where you trade it in, depends on how much it's worth. So if you trade it in at Gothic, it's worth about 40 gold, or 41 gold and a bit of silver. <clears throat> oh, at the mansion. Here, why don't you take this, and uh, mm. I give him, uh, here's 30 foot of spider silk rope. Oh, mm. even, ah, my spider silk rope. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> we go to the, your room, and there's like a bunch of crap I left there. <laughs> Did you notice on, I, I left some of this spider? So, I, I haven't actually. I haven't. This is the first time I've been back here in a long time, actually. Yeah, ever, not ever just since, the ever since also the, the doll on the bed. Ever since the kerfuffle with. I actually don't think I've been back here at the mansion since we went to Israel. Hmm. It may not be inflatable, come to think of because it. Of so the, now there's four 30 foot. Uh, if you take one of them, there's four 30-foot lengths of spider silk rope. Okay, so you've the... got some of the other stuff made yeah. in the 30-foot length as well. Beautiful. Well, I was uh, I went with the Driders, and uh, we did some. I went to, like, their home city and bought, and there's a bunch of bolts of spider silk cloth just in case. I figured maybe we could have someone make stuff for us. Okay. I maybe, like, we can make clothing that we... that's armor, clothing armor out of that stuff, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Um, so you what is it? Was that in the MMO world? Was it? Yes. I didn't even know there were drivers there. I've not gone out out of the town. Yeah, we actually flew people. through a couple zones, so that was interesting. Okay. It's at, this, it's at this point where, unfortunately, Joshua McKay comes to the horrible realization that soon Doc Fulton will become Spider-Man. <laughs> Well, that irritate Batman. So, yeah, there you go. Yes, all kinds of things have been going on and stuff like that, Holmes.
Um, I know a good tailor. We took. Um, I, I brought across. I got um, hold of a guard uniform from Gothic, and they were able to whip up copies of it for us. Mm-hmm. So, no, actually, I don't know how good of a tailor they are, but they seem to do quite a good job with the um, the guard uniform. Okay, well, that's something to consider. Yep. So, if we need some armor that, like, so it looks like it's not armor. This is what we should probably use. I think yeah. it needs magic. I think you need magic scissors to cut it. I like it. So probably not here then. Maybe I could be on crack too. I might be getting two different campaigns stuck in my brain right now. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I need magic scissors. <laughs> I no, I think yeah, that is from that. Never mind. Never mind that. Just really <laughs> sharp ones, I believe. Yes. Okay. That's no good reason not to own your own set of magic scissors, though. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> what? <sighs> okay. So, let's go. So, you have written down what shit you're bringing? Pretty much, I heard rope. Um, got a list here. Great. Chainmail, Buck Rogers gun, a week of MREs, my sword, uh, my traveling gear, which is outfit bag, sleeping bag. I don't bring the tent because we're inside. Mm. I still have my laminated 60, uh, Route 66 map because now it's become lucky. I have a compass. I like how gear becomes lucky for the PCs. How about you, uh, McKay? Yeah, I'm still writing because I'm going through my different thing. I have my magic uh, dildo of light. Cool. Magic dildo of which? Light. I'm trying to remember the dildo. The flashlight, the magic flashlight. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But dildo size, and, and you yeah. kept talking about it, so it's the magic dildo of light. <laughs> Great. It's E.T.'s penis dildo. <laughs> you touch the tip and it lights up. <laughs> <laughs> If you rub it, you gotta rub it to make it come to life. E.T. comes home. <laughs> I'm sure that's a porn somewhere. Right. Okay, McKay, what you got? Uh, small backpack, torch, 30 foot of the spider silk rope, Leatherman, spare batteries, Zippo, waterproof matches, watch, water, chain mail, rations, climbing clamps. The water chain mail all just runs off of you, but other than that, everything's good. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys head over. Um, you're, you're, uh, how do you want to get to the uh, sewers of disappointment? There are cars in your driveway, which apparently Fulton owns, but you're not sure if any if they've been monkeyed with or. Anything like that. Why don't you stay off to the side and I will hop in and if it explodes, I'll, you know, phase out of it. Um, I'm not sure if phase works on explosions anymore. I think like, I can was... phase the initial, but if it's on fire and I'm in there, I'm going to be on fire afterwards, so... Okay. Then you'll need a good doctor again. I can heal myself. I've done it before. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, we are in red carpet anyway. Actually. He begins should... slowly approaching one of the cars. You begin to hear the Jaws music faintly. Do you want me to... I'll, let, why don't we inspect the cars for such, for explosives yes. or whatever? Oh, give me electronic and mechanical repair rolls, please. Um, I did not get the electronic repair. Well, I don't think I did. Nope, but I got the mechanical repair. There's some shit that doesn't belong. One of these things is doing its own thing. One of these things does not belong. A repair mechanical. Fuck it. This is why we just Uber everywhere. We just don't fucking care anymore. <laughs> we call Uber. I don't care. It's, it's why we fucking with shit. No problem. Mm-hmm. Push it into the ditch. 
Oh, before before Uber, uh, have have you got anything to get through a window or to remove a boarded up boards on a door? We we can stop and get a hammer on the way there. Yeah, you know, we'll grab a hammer from here. But I just mean that we'll probably need that as well, unless right. things have changed at the um, apartment. Crowbar would actually do you nice. The, you pick up a crowbar here. Uh, it it's in uh, um, Kinley's room, and it's uh, uh, the crowbar is behind glass, and it says, "In case of looting, break glass." And there's a crowbar inside. Well, no one's looting, so I gen- I take it out nicely. Oh, okay, great. So uh, you guys uh, have old Bluey. And uh, somebody make a note of it. It's a bit bulky, but it should get you through the uh, uh, boards and stuff. Your Uber shows up. It's a, 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 a kind of a fat black dude who's like, hey. Hey. You've already paid and stuff on the app. So pretty much you just get in and he takes you to uh, where do you want to? Oh, you McKay's building. Oh, a block. Right? Yeah, a block away from it. Yeah, no problem. Uh, yeah, you you end up at like a pizzeria or something like that. That's a block away, and uh, then you guys get out and uh, give me counter surveillance rolls as you are looking around casually. The Uber driver drives off. He's happy. I'm sure that somebody as famous as uh, uh, Doc, especially since he doesn't have to uh, worry about paying for it, always tips generously. Yeah, counter I got my counter Yeah. How how on a on a like a fifty dollar Uber ride? Just to give me an idea, how much is your normal tip? Would you guess? For well, see, you can only like on the, the actual app. It's like <coughs> it's one two five. That's all you can do. Really? And yeah, on the app, that's all that I believe that's on there. At least that it's how it is on Lyft. Wow. So, but you can, I think you can put like additional, but then you have to like press more buttons or anything. So I probably gave him like a 50 or something like that, whatever. Okay, cool. So you just double it. That's, that's, yep. that's generous without excessive. Cool. So did anybody make counter surveillance? I did. Nothing special, but I made it. Okay. Aside from the uh, two cops sitting in the undercover cop car, uh, watching the entrance to McKay's building, uh, looking bored out of their fucking mind. You might you might be able to like get in under their nose, but now uh, let's see. Give me spot hidden at negative thirty. I look at whatever you got it. Hmm. The... No. Uh, right. <laughs> Holmes, it just shows Holmes and it shows him looking and it shows like a uh, broad sheet newspaper kind of translucent going by in, in his face. And he's just imagining reading it and how much more comfortable he would be. And it shows like a horse and buggy pull by and stuff as he's kind of immersing himself in the memories of newspapers. And But uh, Fulton, you notice that apparently the cops have gotten either more clever or more lazy, and they've left motion detectors uh, around the building and stuff. So even getting close to it should set it off, and we'll probably let those two assholes in the car now because they, they're they just staying in the car. They can only watch two of the sides of the building, so they've set up some motion detectors to help with surveillance, which... Beating a motion detector, it's possible, but it takes fucking forever. Is there any, like, kids in the area? You look around. (laughs) Yeah, sure, of course. Uh, This isn't a horrible neighborhood. This is kind of a a working immigrants type of neighborhood. I I approach the kid. Give me a fast talk roll to be approachable as opposed to pedophile. I think I'm a pedophile right now. Let God me see. damn, that's unfortunate. No, I got it. Oh, all right. They look at you. Where are they? Want to make some give money? Me, give me a talent roll. This is to see if they recognize I you. I have. Yes, sir, they say. So what I want you to do is I want you to run up to that building over there. They look Knock at on it. the door. The one that's boarded up with the big yeah. police notice on it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Run up to it, knock on the like knock on the wood, yeah, and then 
flick off the cops and then run away. Do we have to flip off the cops? Yes. How much money? I pull out a hundred dollar bill. Yeah. We could say we were flipping off somebody past the cops. Yeah, okay. Each, right? Oh, no, wait. oh yeah, yeah, each. Definitely. I okay. cash them out hundred bucks each. They seem delighted. Go. They they go and begin setting out. As soon as they go up and knock on the doors, the cops are like, like an alarm just went off because they were like glazed over, just sitting there marking time till retirement. And now suddenly they, they're getting out, and the kids are like, ah, and uh, one of them, one of the kids stands between the cops and uh, the other kid, and then the other kid flips him off. So it looks like he might be flipping off the other kid or the cops. Mm-hmm. And then they go, ah, and they begin running off. The cops are like, ah, you stupid kids. And then the cops get out and they're walking around the building uh, carefully. They haven't drawn their guns, but their hands are not going too far away from them. They're looking really grouchy. You notice that, give me evidence analysis rolls in. From Holmes, I want to spot a hidden roll before any of this. You may still be immersed in your own mind palace. <laughs> Half. Yeah, I make my spot hidden. Oh, thank God. I, I was really hoping for a fumble there, and it just shows Holmes going, you know, <laughs> women seem very excitable. Yes. Some sort of orgasm producer might work. Yes, I make evidence analysis by lots. The cops now seem more alert than they used to be when White was in dominance. This makes it a bit more dangerous here. Hmm. Because Apparently, White's White influence was... is waning there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, bad. Uh, right, the cops eventually uh, get back to the car. These are not the cream of the crop. These guys are fucking thick in the midsection. Any kind of prolonged chase may end up in a heart attack for one or both of them. They are pretty much like older dudes. It's like you can sit there for, you know, a long time watching this building, but watch it. They do. All right. What are you going to do with your money? I'm going into T bills. Fuck T bills. Says the other one. The good one. So do I, I see where these it. motion detectors are, are set up? Yeah, they're, they're just like one per side, and they're made to be very tight in on the building. Unless you get within a meter or two of the building, it should not go off. But getting within a meter or two of the building may set it off. I mean, they're not professionally installed or anything. It's more like we run shit to them. We, you know, we've got batteries that probably need to be changed now and then. They're kind of bulky. We just nail it up there for now type of deal. It's definitely like a patch job. Uh, you know, if if McKay would stop beating his wife, all this would probably go away. <clears throat> and the door's boarded up at this point or no? It is boarded up. Your guess is that it's probably been kicked open by so many gangs of PCs that they had no choice but to use plywood on it. Okay. And both is doors, long. like, is there a back door? The back door is done too, or no? There's not a back door. There are um, some fire escapes, like one of the old-fashioned fire escapes, but it's so old that you're not sure if it's actually a fire escape or building art at this point. Now, it is possible to get onto a roof of a different building and do this fucking amazing jump onto the roof of this building. But this building is pretty old. McKay is a slumlord who beats his wife. And so he hasn't actually fixed up <laughs> the uh, new building at all. Instead, uh, letting people continue to live there in squalid misery yeah. because he loves them. <clears throat> so I'm not sure if jumping onto this building would then cause you to fall through the uh, roof and into somebody's apartment. There's a chance. Okay. Um, so, jeez. Oh, and I'm not shows, aware of any other sewer entrances that hook up to there that don't involve scuba diving of death. 
It shows a brief glimpse of McKay in a wife beater t shirt with stains. Yeah. All right, so what we can do is we can just rent a car or whatever. And we can, like, buy a bunch of fucking soccer balls and then just sit here and throw soccer balls at the motion detector until they get sick of getting up and looking at the goddamn thing every time that they uh, we do this. You know, typical distract, 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 distract to the point where they're not going to keep looking. And then, like, even, like, deliver some food like we could even deliver food over to them like i'll walk over there give them food be like hey what's going on blah 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 you know me rah 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 and then they can both pass out and then we can go in the building if you want we could do it that either way i don't care there's a lot of different potentials here keep in mind like i said these are pretty shitty motion detectors and stuff and the cops after it goes off they then they pull out a computer and do stuff on it and bitch a lot at each other and stuff we could also, depending on the motion detectors, work out blind spots and see if there's a way through. Depending on how they set them up, there might be a way through without setting them off. Sneaking um, through a motion detector in the open. Well, yeah. dep depends on how depends on how they no, it just depends on how they set them up because if they they may have them set so that it doesn't go off anything at a certain height, so they don't get set off by animals, for example. Um, or they might also be set up so that they're not covering everything because they've just slapped them up. So there might be blind spots. I'm not sure. You know, we could try something else because I've been there before. Let's try this. Let's go to Clems. Mm -hmm. I've not done this. I've not gone there this way. Let's see if there's a way through Clems to get there. Okay. Yeah. Cut two. If there's a Clems there. Cut two. One Uber later. Who does the title card? One Uber later. Right, you guys arrive at Clems, and he goes, Hi, what can I do you for? With his big mutton chop sideburns and no arrows or bullet holes in him. Shave. Hot towel? Please. Where are you going back to? The ancient future prison. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Okay, yeah. thank you. Hi, what can I do you for? Well, we leave now, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, do we want to drug them? What do we want to do? That seems like it's the easiest and quickest. They're like big and run the middle. We can get them some food, drug it, and then. Yeah, it's the probably the easiest, depending on. I mean, they are a bit more alert, but yeah, we can try that. Mm. Give me law rolls, by the way. Yes, I know. It's, it's going to make things illegal. even worse. Mm. Most likely illegal, yes. You think? Ah, um, uh, yeah, by. by luck. If the cops even eat the food, police are super suspicious about eating food, which I learned uh, rather than trying to buy donuts for the local police office, you should just go down there with, you know, uh, money and uh, say, I'm trying to buy donuts for the police office. Could you do that? Because cops don't like to eat things that are outside of their control because there's assholes out there who try to poison them or drug them or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like you guys. <laughs> So you're not sure if delivering them food will happen. This is not the 80s after all. The old banana and the tailpipe will only get you so far. Yes. Oh, oh, oh. All right. The cops are sitting in their car. Uh, give me electronics rolls, by the way. Quarter. Yep, nothing special. You, you notice when they got back to their car that they, they didn't actually touch the motion detectors that are nailed up on the thing. They just fucked with the computer. Mm -hmm. Whatever that means. So... They didn't actually even approach the motion detectors, just beat on the computer until it did what they wanted. According to your excellent uh, Doc Bolton electronics role, it's probably some sort of transceiver signal thing between their computer and uh, the things. 
So they're probably set up on a Bluetooth or a Wi Fi. Shit, they could be using your Wi Fi to add them. Mm hmm. Um. So wait, you're wanted for wife beating? Is that what's going on? I've got no idea what they want me for this time. You could I go think ask. it's because the yeah, I think it's because the door because the place has been invaded or something. So whether or not this is because of Batman sending his goons in here, so Batman's got the cops looking for me because of Brown being downstairs, or if this is. Or the police just want to talk to me because the door had been kicked in, etc. Find out what's going on. I refuse to talk to police under any circumstance. We can I mean, go. Yeah, I could just, Do you want to just turn want... yourself in, find out what the fuck it's all about? Yeah, 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 like you haven't done walk. anything. Exactly. I can walk up and knock on the glass and say, hey. Let, why don't we go to the station instead? Because yes. they will just yeah, yeah, arrest yeah. you. If you go to the station, it might be a little bit, you know. Yeah, yeah. Also, before we do that, I'm going to call Elliot and have one of the studio's lawyers come in with us. Wow. Using the studio's lawyers, but it's better to just let McKay walk in like a, a goat into a lion trap thing. Okay, yeah. no problem. With the studio's lawyer there... It's amazing just how quick and easy this is. Pretty much, he does the talking for you, and he tells it that, you know, you've been out of town, uh, you know. Uh, I'll be right back. Yeah, pretty much they, they uh, wanted to uh, uh, let you know your building's been broken into repeatedly. Mm -hmm. uh, they're sick of it. They want you to uh, at least install doors rather than the gaping hole that there is now. They also tried to tactfully ask you if you are still beating uh, your wife. The lawyer tells you not to answer that. <laughs> and so um, the I'm not married. They, yeah, or common law partner and stuff like that. Uh, in your file, they do have a photo of a bruised up uh, Mildred. I don't know how she, they've got a photo of it bruised, but uh, you're thinking it may be photoshopped. Um, <laughs> yes, <laughs> it's actually yeah. wasn't bruised when we and B, the whole healing factor would have stopped the bruising anyway. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. So they had to add that in. Um, but yeah, no problem. Um, that that's pretty much I, all. I will, I will mention. I will actually mention to the lawyer on the quiet that that photo looks like it's being doctored. He asks if he can see the uh, photo. They tell him, no, it's not important. They put it back in the thing. This is old file notes and stuff. Nothing to worry about. Glare at you. They don't like wife beaters. I was say, I've, I've actually got art photography, and photography is skills. So. Yeah, give me an art photography role. Yep. Almost half. You can do a better job photoshopping than that. Come on. Yeah. You're like, come on. And let me see what else. Is there anything else? Um, oh, they also, uh, one of the cops goes, and we would like an excl explanation on this. And they pull out a large pistol in an evidence bag. It, um, you know, doesn't seem to have any any kind of uh, uh, registering numbers on it, like they've been filed off, he says. Found in your basement when we were trying to secure it and such. Assumably, whoever, it broke Assumably whoever broke in left it there. Hmm. They don't look happy at that answer. They wanted something like, all right, I admit it, I... Was there prints on the bullets or the magazine? They look at you and go, no, no, there were not. They glare so, at you. Professional then. Hmm. That is concerning. All right. All right. Well, that's pretty much what we needed to uh, 
find out and whatnot. So can I replace the boards on the apartment? Just with the police tape up there, it makes it a bit hard. Yes, yes, you can. They they write up some stuff and give it to you and whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, they also recommend the name of a good locksmith and such because they they seem interested in having you patch that up so that they don't have to. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I definitely want it fixed up so the other the other tenants aren't inconvenienced. Yeah, yeah. Not being able to get in their home for weeks is really putting a crimp in them. Mm-hmm. You're going to need some more money here, you're thinking. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, well, that's pretty much all they've got for you. Okay. That's the whole thing, yeah. Pretty much it seems... Thank, thank you for keeping an eye on the building and making sure. Do you have any leads on who, who's been breaking into it or why they broke in? No, we do not. We will let you know. He begins to give you the standard boilerplate of we don't know yeah, anything. Yeah, we're yeah. looking into it and we yeah, are. I, I will be this. expressing interest and concern about the fact that somebody's broken in and especially the fact they left a unmarked pistol behind. And should I be concerned about my welfare? And yeah, no problem. Uh, is there is there a who's who's the investigate? You know, if I if I um, see anyone suspicious, who's the investigating officer I should get in touch with? They give you a police officer's card and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. it, it's a, yeah, no problem. Uh, yeah, it, it, they give you a card and things. Yep. They, they, you guys are all going through the motions at this point. Everybody at the table knows it. Mm -hmm. They know that you're guilty of something. Give me an empathy roll. Yeah, by lots. They know you're guilty of something. They just can't prove it, and they don't know what. They're not sure if it's your gun or how often you beat up Mildred or any of that kind of stuff. But they know you're guilty of something, but they got other real cases to work on rather than mm -hmm. they guilt right now. But yes. you think that they're going to be keeping their eye on you. Yes. Which is not really good. No. You know, if you beat Mildred less often, <laughs> you wouldn't have these problems. <laughs> yeah. Uh, essentially, by uh, um, Doc Fulton suggesting bringing the uh, company lawyer mm -hmm. and uh, being a B-lister and getting a good lawyer, mm -hmm. it all goes away. Yes, I'll, I want to. I'm going to have a chat with the lawyer without police presence. Done. Um, just the whole situation with Mildred. It's as well. She's an addict, and I wouldn't enable her. So she made up the whole story because I wouldn't help her out. Have Is there you... something we could do to help her? Um. Without she... causing her too much damage to her profile. Um, will she will she consent to going into rehab? Probably not. Do you want her to be forced into going into? Actually, hold on, hold that thought. Uh, excuse me, uh, uh, Mr. Fulton. Yeah. Would you uh, like us to work on getting a court order for uh, Mildred Bumgardner to be uh, given a 72-hour uh, uh, um, imprisonment in rehab? Probably not the best idea. Why don't we handle that? We can, the studio can handle that. Very well, yeah. sir. Okay. No problem. Well, let me know if you need any more legal advice. He gives... Dr. Fulton the card mm -hmm. and because you're not big enough to be on his no. radar apparently yep. if you're a right, better actor you wouldn't have these problems and yes. if you stop beating up Mildred and then if you enabled Mildred and were a better actor <laughs> <laughs> so no problem he goes his goes away nice suit you're thinking and definitely mm -hmm. on the up high end of uh, money Yes. 
these crazy studio lawyers with their crazy suits. So you guys uh, leave the police station, you go back. The cops are delighted that somebody finally dealt with that. We were gonna, they put out an APB on you, but nothing happened. So, yeah. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll organize someone to go and fix the door, replace the door. Replace two the hours lights. later, you have a new door, and you have maxed out one of your credit cards. It's a good door, mm -hmm. though. Good. And I'll get a few keys copied off. Yep. All that's included. No problem. Uh, yeah, you you get like 30 keys. All the tenants are given one. They were crawling through some guy's window and shit for like weeks. Um, yeah, you, you definitely could. Um, you're thinking that you should either throw like, I don't know, 100,000 into this building or consider having it evacuated before somebody gets crushed and, you know, by a falling floor or something. Well, we were... I think the intent was originally not to have anybody in it so that Mildred Oh, I thought you had tenants. You've mentioned tenants several times. No, well, that's because you mentioned somebody when Mildred punched the hole, the hole through the wall. Mm. Well, they, poor people need somewhere to live, and it is good cover. Yes. So, yeah, um... It makes it look like more if of us ignore if this. It's not place. Or, if it's not already set up, I'll get I'll get the I'll consult with um, Bobcat as in regards to a real estate agent or something to a realtor to act as the middleman, and that way, if if it if there's repairs that need it need doing, etc. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, like I said, it, it just needs money at this point. Yeah, yeah. I just mean, like, in regards to, well, they're paying rent. Therefore, if there needs, like, a door replaced, it can be getting taken care of. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, you incident. get a property manager is what you need. Yes. Yeah. No well, sorry, it sounds like it's done a bit differently in the U.S. to Australia. Yeah. In Australia, we just have a real estate agent looking after it, and then there's uh -huh. certain repairs and stuff that are, that are automatically taken care of due to them impacting no, the mean, welfare big big portions of the interior walls and stuff need to be replaced and whatnot the mm -hmm. building's essentially a rotting husk at this point mm -hmm. that's why you got it so cheap yep so yeah mm -hmm. if if doc fulton hadn't already emptied his bank account doing some other silly shit he could have probably funded the mm -hmm. building but you know well doc did pay for most of the building in the first place yes well I, now I he has a big deposit, collection Doug, of hats Doc paid for the rest. Yes. He unfortunately has spent all his recent money on a collection of hats and stuff. So they mm -hmm. never wear. So, yeah. Not gold plated golf clubs? Uh, I'm, uh, sorry, diamond, guessing, diamond encrusted golf clubs, I should say. Wow, that's scary. I'm guessing they're probably golfing caps. He hasn't played golf in a while, though. That's why he's twitchy. <laughs> all right. We shall head downstairs. No problem. You guys begin walking down the uh, stairs and let's see, where's your building? There it is. Uh, right. It appears that uh, the door, you remember how it's locked, but the hinges part is the mm -hmm. part that opens. It looks like it's not seated correctly on the hinges. It's really close, but not quite seated. The cord still goes under the door and whatnot. Um, yeah. And Right. From there, you go in, you follow... No, no, the... it's the other door we want. I believe. Oh. What mine's saying is we need to go to where X23 is, which is the other door. Oh, sorry. Okay, no problem. You go up the slope up, and then you use some professionally made wooden stairs. See? These they stairs. They look professionally made. Plus, it actually goes through now, whereas it didn't used to. From there goes to a long tunnel and then the buried futuristic type city. Um, dead end, dead end. Ah, there's the robot over there in its cubicle. It waves uh, one of its clawed hands at you. That direction, it looks like it's contortions at a bonus. You remember that's back toward the alien spaceship. Over there, contortions at a bigger bonus, which went to the ancient futuristic prison. 
The robot begins rearranging its bacon-flavored condoms in anticipation of your approach. Oh, so I check to see what new things it has, because doesn't it always change up? It really does. It is amazing. Uh, we'll find out what he's got today. It's sad that all this neat futuristic shit, and it's like, so, what have we got? Bacon flavored condoms are very good. All right. And let's see. Today it has, it has some interesting shit. It has a small square cage that's about this big, by right? this big, by this big. So a small cube, a little bit like a large Rubik's cube that puts whatever single creature that you stick inside of it into stasis. It has a plastic bottle that contains a spray that cleans any stain. And according to uh, the robot, never runs out. We need that. Yeah, yeah. Wait, how much for that? Do you have more than one? Uh, I have one. One. What do you have to trade? We'll need to go get some. Yeah, we've got to bring some wire and duct tape for you. I have plenty of wire, plenty of duct tape. So you no longer need the three rolls of purple duct tape you asked for? In addition to the three rolls of purple <laughs> duct tape, please bring things. Uh, and it what also about these? Has... Do you need the white linen handkerchief? Yeah, in addition to the white linen <laughs> handkerchief, please bring other things. Uh, copper still? Do you still need copper? In addition to the brick of <laughs> copper, <laughs> the duct tape. So what else do you have besides the cleaning, the one ah, cleaning thing? It also has a metallic device that creates one new sheet of paper each day. It's about the size of a like a printer cartridge from a large printer. Just makes one sheet of paper a day? That's it. What kind of paper? Uh, it's uh, normal paper like you'd expect to get out of an office copier. Is there anything on the paper? Yeah, just white, normal paper. Yes, this robot has some very unusual shit. And, like, so to put any animal into the small cube, like, what kind of animal? Like, does it matter? Does it matter? What about now, the sock? What? The sock? What about size? Size. It, ha it has to be smaller than the cage. Okay, okay. Well, so I it doesn't. Sure, like, you could take anything and it would suck into yeah, it somehow. So, yeah, so it doesn't reduce the size of the creature. <clears throat> it's not a Pokemon ball. The robot does not know what Pokemon balls is, but we'll try to get them in stock. Excellent. Have you got any? Have you gotten in any encryption for the phones as yet? Negative. I enjoy reading. I didn't mean that you would be excluded. I just mean so that others cannot in that we don't wish to. Do not be alarmed. I have only sold three other bracelets to other creatures. Well, that's three other people that potentially could, if they know how to look or start looking, they might find the place to the boards to read. No. The sad robot looks sad mm -hmm. and robotic. So, yes, if you can get in some encryption packages, that would be great. Yes. So I will go out. Do you, like, so would three rolls of purple duct tape be enough for the cleaning thing? No. What, what exactly do you need for the cleaning thing? Three rolls of duct tape. A white linen handkerchief. Oh, all of that. A bar of copper. And a sticker. What kind of sticker? 
It must be fun. Okay. Do you want to wait here and uh, make sure that no one else yeah. buys it? And I'll... Uh... <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'll, I'll stay here and chat to X23. Okay. I will go get everything that's needed. And uh, the sticker I'm going to get is uh, World's Best Robot. Wow. Uh, I think the sticker is probably the most expensive thing. It's like 30 bucks um, for everything. And okay. <laughs> yay. I come back and I give him all the stuff and then I take the sticker and I put it on him. Well, you can't because he's behind his uh, yeah. thing. Okay, but I give it to him. There you go. He is delighted to uh, with the sticker and it thinks it is plenty of fun. It gives you the uh, plastic bottle containing a spray that cleans any stain and never runs out. It's a nice small plastic bottle. It won't quite fit in a pocket well, but like anything else, like backpack, purse, whatever. Keep in mind that this bottle can still be destroyed. If the bottle's destroyed, then it obviously is yeah. done working. Is it considered magic? A no, magic item? no, this is just weird tech. Yeah, that's right. Just wanted to just say if we need, needed to consider it when Louis' magic item goes bye bye. Yep. It no, also note that if you abuse it, then it may leak a uh, solution and stuff, which could have unforeseen and unhealthy effects. I would recommend getting a so, special carrying thing for the or leave it at your house. It'd be great. So it's like don't don't show Mildred or Alex who might try and drink it to see if they can get drunk or high on it uh-huh uh yeah i mean but think about how cool this would be just having at your house red wine on the carpet no problem a crime a scene team, no problem <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah that's exactly what i like i was like Whoop, the crime scene well it, it gets rid yeah, of the stains there we're... may still be some dna but i would oh, no, 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 that's deal. fine but if oh, it cleans fine. it up enough oh yeah that Actually, that reminds me, if we were doing that sort of thing, I would go to Night City, get a small high-powered vacuum cleaner, visit several seedy hotel rooms, do some careful vacuuming, and then basically litter a crime bad. scene with the contents to pollute the That's just bio cruel. And DNA. That's just cruel. And now for my collection of semen samples, I will sprinkle these around. I just had to be drinking at that point, too. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So, semen samples. Oh, didn't work. Okay, fine. Anyway, well, your computer's already survived one flood. Why not two? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we've got the plastic bottle. There was nothing else in particular he had. Well, the stasis one was curious, but not sure we get much use of it. Hmm. So, off to the prison? Yep. No problem. You guys head back in the prison. Um, it appears that at one point there was all kinds of cool glowing bars and shit. And all the walls and shit have been completely disassembled, and then the parts were put on the floor. Then idiots attempted to bang them together like apes with rocks. Then somebody else came by and said, this is the only usable shit, tried to bang it together with rocks. And then somebody else came by and said, okay, I can still make something good out of this. And they took the only good shit left, and then Time and age went by, and but there is a big stasis chamber which looks suspiciously like if you guys. I'm not sure if you guys ever saw the ones from the. I know. I think Doc has from the cyberpunk thing where the gamers were in. It looks suspiciously like those. Almost like they were reusing a prop. Yeah, and. That's it. No records, no files, nothing. So there's no so, computer? Like, well, because, like, what about the the readout? Did it have, like, specifics of who was in the chamber? No, no. You checked that last time you were uh, breaking out the uh, ultimate evil for the campaign. When you were doing that, I remember you looked around to try to figure out 
who is this ultimate evil that I, Dr. James Fulton, shall release upon the world? And it came back going, here's the biometric readout of the person that's in there. And you went, fuck it, and release the ultimate evil into the world because you are actually you. Satan. Curiosity? Was it curiosity? Yeah, you know. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> It shows him dry humping the thing while the body's still in there. Yeah, come to daddy. All right, well, we can always explore around and see if, like, there's other mm -hmm. places that has information on who was in here or, like, what was imprisoned in the prison or... Because mm -hmm. we haven't done a lot of that here, have we? Actually, the, this, this part of the sewers of disappointment goes into a dead end. Uh, there may be other ways to go around stuff, but nobody has ever explored the sewers of disappointment because unfortunately the one person with the super sewer powers, well, used to have the super sewer powers, not only had the bad grace to get sick today when they could have been super useful, but they seem to be like, instead of doing proper mapping and exploration, they seem to be going over their same footfalls ad nauseum and then getting frustrated that they're not finding anything new <laughs> all right so we could always go to where the where the starship is and see if the stargate there now works yes true that that oh we could both of you that's... give me uh two contortions of plus 30 rolls this is getting into the prison and yeah. presumably getting out it looks like the doc is going to die here. You can leave him behind and laugh at his pain and weakness. I shall try and push or pull, depending on which way we're going. Give me a it's... strength roll to pull him out so that he is no longer stuck there. If you dislocate something, perhaps his healing will kick in. Perhaps not. It's a wide open. Yep, make a strength roll, nothing special. Fortunately, you are beefy as fuck. It just shows, it shows uh, like, the Sherlock Holmes head on the fucking weightlifter body. Rrr. I could grate cheese on this. Rrr. Why people grate cheese on abs has always been a great mystery to me, Logan. So, no problem. Then you get to the harder contortions area to go to the spaceships. This one is contortions at a plus 20, and I'll need that from both of you guys in order to get through this to go and re-explore. Got it. Nice. Cool. Then you go uh, back to... Just just fail. Just fail. It's your turn now, Chris, to pull him. Now, I got, you slap him in the face a couple of times, and he just lays there. <laughs> uh -oh. That's not really helping. You're thinking oh. you could teabag. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you have any re-rolls or anything? Unfortunately not. A lot of... If you can get some bad. sort of lubricant on him, Chris, I would give you another roll. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, didn't, you didn't bring your jar of Vaseline this time? No. Um, is there any uh, hydraulic fluid that I can find on the spaceship? You go over to the spaceship, give me a new Sandy rolls. You see the two alien bodies still, because I know you haven't got these guys maxed out yet. It's one point That's if you make it, D6 mm -hmm. if you fail. Okay. McKay can't okay. quite see if where he's at. And right. give me... I'll just check the gate, and then... Well, actually, I could cast a spell on the gate to see if you learn more about it now. If only you could get out of the hole like that you live in, just like enough. Winnie the Pooh. Really? Well, right. the problem is Doc's stuck in there now. I thought it was you that was stuck in there. Yeah, I'm stuck in the, in the crevice. Doc is stuck oh. in what we believe to be a dead end. Oh, that's fine. He can live in there. So, Doc, you go over to the spaceship. <laughs> what what kind of alien tech take apart shit skill do you have there?